So, if you've seen my other previous videos, you know that we set up a brand new website, bought the domain, set up the content, did the keyword research, published 300 plus articles in the space of 15 minutes, and then we've scheduled the rest of the content for the year, all of which we've used with AI, SEO, bulk scheduling plugins and opt-ins and that sort of thing. If you want to check out the workflows for those, check out my other videos. But today, what we're going to do is talk about topical maps. Because here's the thing, right? All of this content that we've published is great. That's very good. But it's very disorganized right now. There's no real categories to this. And obviously, if you want to rank on Google, if you want to get better rankings, then you need to organize your content. So it's very easy for Google to figure out what your website is about, what your content is about, and how it's clustered. And if we can organize this whole website strategically in the right way, then we'll have more topical authority. It'll be easier for Google to crawl our site. Basically, Google knows how you've categorized your site. Plus, if you want to apply for ads, like my other AI SEO websites, for example, if we look at chipperbirds.com, you can see that all the content is categorized into the right place. It's not perfect categorization, but it works. And if you look at this site and how it's making money, it's made through ads. Now, potentially, you're going to have problems getting approved for ads if you don't categorize your site and if you don't set up topical maps in the right way. So that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. And this is really easy to do. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. And it's literally a case of just downloading Harper AI. So you get this free Chrome extension right here. You make sure it's installed, which is up here. And then what you need to do is find your website sitemap. Now, if you don't know how to find that, all you need to do is you can actually install Yoast free plugin. And then if you go down to settings, once you've got that installed, and then you scroll down to sitemap under APIs right here, you'll be able to view your XML sitemap. And that will tell you exactly where your sitemap is. And you see how it's branched off into posts, pages, categories, or for sitemap. You can see there's literally no categories right there. Doesn't look good. And you can see how much content we've actually got published onto the site. So we need to get this fixed. And that's what we're going to do today. Now, how shall we do it? Well, what we'll do is we're going to open up Harper on their sitemap like this. And then we shall say, give me a semantically optimized topical map based on the URLs in page and break it down into categories. No general categories. We don't want general categories if we want to get proof ads. Keep it organized, very specific, and categorize it like a library. And that's essentially what Google wants, is Google wants you to categorize your website very clean, make it easy to crawl. And bear in mind, the easier it is for Google to crawl your site through all the categories, the less crawl budget is needed to index your content, which basically means it's cheaper for Google's algorithm to rank your content. And therefore, it's more likely to crawl your content, it's more likely to index it and rank it. Now, if you want the free prompt for this, I'll include it in my free course. You can get instant access to that in the comments section. But for now, we're going to create some categories. So for example, angel numbers, we'll start setting that up. So we'll go back to our WordPress dashboard. We'll go to categories over here and we'll start setting up a new category called angel numbers. Now, one thing I want you to bear in mind here is that when you're publishing content, ideally, you want to focus your content in clusters, right? So if your website is about astrology, you would focus on astrology first, and then you would find semantically related topics as well around that. So for example, numerology or angel numbers, and your categories should all be topically and semantically related to the overarching theme of your website. So the overarching theme of this website is astrology. And then we've got a set of different categories underneath. So add a new category like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search through all my posts and I could do it one by one, like Harper AI recommends, but I'm actually going to do it this way. And here's the other thing as well, is that I don't want any duplicate categories. So I don't want like one page to be overlapping in multiple categories. I want every page to have one single category. So it's all neatly aligned and nothing's overlapping. It's very easy for Google to crawl. Now, if you look at Zoic's guidelines, which is an ads platform, and basically you can set up ads through your website using Zoic, you'll see that they talk about categories, right? So they recommend that every category has at least five articles inside it if you want to get approved for ads. And this is something that Google AdSense are going to review and something Zoic are going to review if you go through this process. So if you want to get approved, and I've learned the hard way by being rejected, is you want to add categories with at least five articles inside it. On top of that, when you're organizing 
your site and you're categorizing all your content. Like as though it says, your categories should not overlap. You shouldn't have irrelevant categories. So for example, a site about tennis shouldn't contain a post or category about pets. And you shouldn't have a general or random or other category. And now here's a couple of examples, right? If you have a bunch of categories like this, well, make money, stocks, and trading would all seem to overlap. And there's no clear distinction between them, right? Whereas if you have trading stocks and then banking and finance, they're very different categories. They wouldn't overlap. And it makes it easier to navigate for the users who go on your site. But this also looks good to Google when they're approving your site and when Google's crawling your site. So everyone wins doing this. So how are we going to do this? Well, the first thing we're going to do is find uncategorized posts like this and we shall search. So we found angel numbers. So this is all the content we've got published and you can see we've got 138 items. And what we're going to do is go to bulk actions, edit, and this is just way faster than editing it one by one, uno by uno. And we'll change the category to angel numbers like this. We'll hit update and it might take a while to load, but essentially what it's going to do is categorize all of these pages into the right category that you set up. And then you can do this across your whole site so that there's nothing on categorized. You can quickly do it, doesn't take too long and everything just makes a bit more sense. And then we'll go on to page two and categorize those two. Bulk edit, change categories to angel numbers. And then in your menu, if you go to appearance and then menus, you can start setting up that category. So we'll add that to menu like this. So you just go categories, you select the category you want to add and then you would add it like this, hit save menu. And now we just need to do that for the rest as well. So we're gonna set up astrology as a category, add that as a new one. We'll go to all posts, search the post for astrology like this, filter it down to uncategorized. We'll go to bulk actions, apply, put that in astrology. And now I'm just gonna scroll through quickly before we edit these because we've already made some changes to the categories on the site and we just want to make sure nothing overlaps. So for example, this one, it would probably fit better into astrology, not into angel numbers. So we've done that. Keep scrolling down, see if we've got anything else not relevant. And then that just makes sure nothing slips through the net. So we'll go to edit, bulk, change categories to astrology like this. And there we go. And whilst we're waiting, we'll add that to our menu as well. So we'll go to categories, view all, astrology, add to menu, and we'll pop that down there. We'll do the rest now, like so. We just need to deselect some of these. So if I command an F, angel numbers, we've got some overlap there as well. So we'll change that to astrology, like so. See if there's anything else. There we go. Finish those ones off, put them in astrology. Do the same here. We're getting through it now. This one's taken a while. Let's move on to the next one. Now there's a few overlap in here. We're going to uncheck some of these because they're more about angel numbers and astrology. So it'd be far better to put them under the angel numbers category like this. Simple way to choose is basically if you've got a choice between two topics, just go for the one with the topic in the title. So if I have a choice between angel numbers and astrology, I'm going to go for angel numbers for these topics because they've got angel numbers in the title. Whereas something like this, it's got astrology in the title, so I would go for astrology. Then we'll set this up, hit apply, and we're onto the final page. So we'll start setting these up. Now, if you want an even faster way to do this, you can go to WP Sheet Editor, new plugin that you can install right here. Hit activate once it's installed. We'll skip that. Edit the categories here. Then you can edit your posts in bulk like this, go to sheet editor. And this is actually a much faster way to do it because you can easily get rid of the uncategorized tag this way, right? So what we can do here is we can click search. And what this is, is basically a whole spreadsheet with all your posts in, right? Every row is a different post on your website. And you can see it's got every single page on this website. Some of them are still to be published. Some of those aren't, right? Now what we can do, is you can go to categories right here. And if we search for the relevant category, so let's say we want to search for uncategorized like so, and then astrology like that, we'll hit run search over here. And what this shows us is all the pages that are categorized under astrology 
but also under uncategorized too. So what you can do is on the top row, you just get rid of uncategorized. And so it's just got the relevant category you want. We're going to sort this by the category. You'd go down there and just paste it in like that, right? And then under all the pages that have uncategorized and astrology, you can just paste them in. And that way you can just quickly edit everything that you need to, right? And if you're on a Mac and you hold shift and then you click on the row so you want to edit in bulk, you can do it like that really quickly. And um, we'll just handle the rest of this like so. And then this way you can check to see whether there's multiple categories for one page. So if this has two inputs right here, it's got multiple categories. And ideally we just want it to be one, right? So we'll keep editing the rest now. And let's say you want to add another category, right? For example, we've got numerology here. Maybe we just want to add another category in our topical map, right? So what you can do is if you edit the cell like this, and then we'll type in numerology, we'll hit add option. And now you can add a category like that. And so it makes categorizing all your content really easy. And now for any other posts, we can add those to numerology and we can delete the old one and we'll just keep going through them. And this way you can easily see which of your pages have no categories, which of your pages have multiple categories, and which pages are just duplicates like that. So we're gonna delete all the categories there and just change that to numerology. And it's a much easier way to manage your site versus WordPress, which you have to click in here, by there, blah, blah, blah. Before you know it, you spent the whole week messing around with categories on your site, which isn't the best use of your time. You want to be publishing content, building backlinks. That's how you get results. And if you're publishing in bulk as well, this is just going to get super messy, especially if you've got thousands of pages, tons of different categories, it's going to be crazy. So this is one of the best ways to just manage that and make sure you're on top of it. And we're getting through it now. We're just on the last 300 and we're gradually getting there. A lot of clicking today. My fingers are aching. That's 100, zero to 100, let's go. And that's basically how you do it. I mean, we've got a whole site categorized, nice and neat. It's not a complete mess. We've separated it into three different categories. There's a few we've missed here. Just check through the list and have a quick sanity check in case you miss some. I don't think it's the best in the world, but if you're going for speed and if you've got hundreds of categories to organize, then this is probably the best way to do it at bulk, right? And it's a different job. I mean, if you only had like 10 or 15, obviously you could do this in a lot more detail, but if you want to do this quickly and you've got hundreds of pages to categorize, this is one of the best ways to do it. Now there's probably a few we've missed still. So what I'm going to do is just have one last search in the category section. We'll just change this to uncategorized, see if we've got anything, run the search. And we're going to hit save. Now that could take a long time because we've got hundreds of items right there. Let's see how it goes. All right. And now it's saved and we should be good to go now. So if I just finally check the posts categories, let's have a look what we got. There shouldn't be anything in on categories. Now, if we check, we'll filter it down, have a look. There's just one, which should be in numerology, but that's it. That's basically every single post on the website done 871 in total categorized neatly in minutes. Perfect. That's what we like. And if we click on the categories on the website, you can see them all ready to go over here. Now, if you want a free call to discuss your SEO strategy and how to get more leads, traffic and sales from SEO, feel free to book in a call. I'll leave a link in the comments. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.